Chapter on the ablution for boys youngsters when they should perform ghusl take a bath and tuhur purification their attendance at congregational prayers eid prayers and funeral prayers and their rows in the prayers narrated ibn abbas the prophet peace be upon him passed by a grave that was separated from the other graves and led the people in the funeral prayer and the people aligned behind him. I said, O oh, Abba Amr, who told you about it? He said, Ibn Abbas. Narrated Abba Sa'id al-Khudari, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him said, Ghusl, taken a bath on Friday, is compulsory for every Muslim reaching the age of puberty. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with both of them. One night, I slept at the house of my aunt, Maymuna, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, slept too. He got up for Salah prayer in the last hours of the night and performed a light ablution from a hanging leather water skin. Amr, the sub-narrator, described that the ablution was very light. Then he stood up for Salah, and I got up too, and performed the ablution in the same way, and joined him on his left side. He pulled me to the right, and offered prayers as much as Allah will. Then he lay down and slept, and I heard his breath sounds, till the Mu'adhin came to him, to inform him about the Fajr prayer. He left with him for the Salah, and offered Salah without repeating the ablution. Sufyan, the sub-narrator, said, We said to Amr, Some people say, The eyes of the Prophet, peace be upon him, sleep, but his heart never sleeps. Amr said, Ubaid ibn Umair said, The dreams of the Prophets are divine revelations. Then he recited, O oh my son, I have seen in a dream that I am slaughtering you, offering you in sacrifice to Allah. Quran chapter 37 verse 102 Narrated Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, my grandmother, Mulaika, invited Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, for a meal, which she had prepared specially for him. He ate some of it and said, get up. I shall lead you in the prayer. I brought a mat that had become black owing to excessive use, and I sprinkled water on it. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, stood on it and offered to Raka. And the orphan was with me in the first row, and the old lady stood behind us. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with both of them. Once, I came riding a she-ass, and I, then, had just attained the age of puberty. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, was leading the people in Salah, prayer, at Mina, facing no wall. I passed in front of the row, and let loose the she-ass for grazing, and joined the row, and no one objected to my deed. Narrated Aisha May Allah be pleased with her. Once Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, delayed the Aisha prayer till Umar informed him that the women and children had slept. Then Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, came out and said, None from amongst the dwellers of earth have offered this Salah prayer except you. In those days, none but the people of Al Medina used to offer Salah. Prayer. Narrated Abdul Rahman ibn Abbas, a person asked Ibn Abbas, May Allah be pleased with both of them. Have you ever presented yourself at the Eid prayer with Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him? He replied, Yes. And had it not been for my kinship position with the Prophet, it would not have been possible for me to do so for he was too young. 
the Prophet, peace be upon him, went to the mark near the house of Kathir ibn Salt and delivered a khutbah, religious talk. He then went towards the women. He advised and reminded them and asked them to give in charity. So the woman would bring her hand near her neck and take off her necklace and put it in the garment of Bilal. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, and Bilal came to the house.